162. I am as God created me. This single thought held firmly in the mind would save the world. From time to time we will repeat it as we reach another stage in learning. It will mean far more to you as you advance. These words are sacred, for they are the words God gave in answer to the world you made. By them it disappears, and all things seen within its misty clouds and vaporous illusions vanish as these words are spoken, for they come from God. He is the word by which the Son became his Father's happiness, his love, and his completion. Here creation is proclaimed and honored as it is. There is no dream these words will not dispel, no thought of sin and no illusion that the dream contains that will not fade away before their might. They are the trumpet of awakening that sounds around the world. The dead awake in answer to its call, and those who live and hear this sound will never look on death. Holy indeed is he who makes these words his own, arising with them in his mind, recalling them throughout the day, at night bringing them with him as he goes to sleep. His dreams are happy and his rest secure, his safety certain and his body healed, because he sleeps and wakens with the truth before him always. He will save the world because he gives the world what he receives each time he practices the words of truth. Today we practice simply. For the words we use are mighty, and they need no thoughts beyond themselves to change the mind of him who uses them. So holy is it changed that it is now the treasury in which God places all his gifts and all his love to be distributed to all the world, increased in giving, kept complete because its sharing is unlimited. And thus, you learn to think with God. Christ's vision has restored your sight by salvaging your mind. We honor you today. Yours is the right to perfect holiness you now accept. With this acceptance is salvation brought to everyone. For who could cherish sin when holiness like this has blessed the world? Who could despair when perfect joy is yours, available to all as remedy for grief and misery, all sense of loss, and for complete escape from sin and guilt? And who would not be brother to you now? you, his Redeemer and his Savior. Who could fail to welcome you into his heart with loving invitation, eager to unite with one like him in holiness? You are as God created you. These words dispel the night and darkness is no more. The light is come today to bless the world for you have recognized the Son of God, and in your recognition is the world's. 